The decedent uh, sustained multiple gunshot wounds and uh, had died at the scene. The case involving Mario Rocha revolved around one key witness at the party, Matthew Padilla, identifying Mario as being a shooter. I just remember hearing guilty and I was like spiritually killed. I was innocent. So in my eyes, there's no way they could find me guilty. Well, I believe strongly that he's innocent. What I really believe is that the state really hasn't proven in a fair trial that he's guilty. He was convicted on the basis of could have been, not beyond a reasonable doubt. There's some sort of conspiracy that's trying to hide some other proof. What I see, I, I can't say. My name was the just pop. Yeah, it might just be in my family. Yeah, I'm nervous. Because it's like going up against your worst enemy. But I'm also a eager. I'm looking forward to it. If he is not released, then injustice is half the last word. Can you tell me the nature of the injuries? Yeah, I mean, three days ago. A couple days, jumped him, stabbed him 15 times. I'm in a lawyer's office, and if something came up that's very critical. I have to be prepared for the struggle till death if I have to. It's part of life. When anything bad could happen, it's happened. Once you get caught up in the system, it's very difficult to get out. Eventually, good trials. But before it triumphs, a lot of people have to suffer. Freedom, I know how the system works. I want to believe that, that it can deliver justice. It's just a simple thing like that is utopian. <laughs> the next unit ends up the order. Department 105 is not in session. Maybe this time it'll do the right thing.